Hey guys, what is up? It's the kind of like the morning and I'm like kind of just waking up. Um, I'm a little bit, I wouldn't say hungover. I definitely had a good time last night. I definitely partied last night and I haven't in a while, but I feel really, really good. I feel rested. I feel happy. I feel like I woke up really happy. Like I was with someone that I felt very comforted by. And then last night was fun because I got to meet new friends and we just like hung out. So I'm in a really good headspace. I'm just like chilling, you know, like after you have like a good night, like that's the thing, like I didn't get hungover because I was drinking my water as I was taking shots, so you know, it was balanced, but like, you know, when you're just like in a good headspace in life, like that's just where I feel, so all, I, I fed a little bit into drama on Twitter, just a little bit, like I went off a little bit, but then I just kept it moving and it didn't let affect my day, like I didn't follow up to see if someone said anything about it, Twitter. I just, I went, I said what I had to say, and then went about my day, and then that was it, and I got a little bit into it, but it didn't even feel bad for me, and, like, I, I don't really like to acknowledge things, like, I was never, I'm not, especially, like, on video, I'm never going to be, like, a, a title with someone's name anymore, I'm just not that person, because, like, I am truly content in life, and, like, I want to keep that contentness going, like, I feel very, like, I, I almost had, you know what, let's get into this pie, well, let me just say, I almost had, like, I was going to get plastic surgery again, literally next week, there was an opening, and I was like, yeah, let me book it, I, and I was going to book it, and, like, pay for it, and then I was talking with Moses, my friend, and he was just like, you know, because, kind of, like, I'm weighing the pros and cons, right, and he's like, your body's great, like, you know, and people will say that in real life, but it's because like, I have so much hater on, like haters online, like making fun of my boobs, my body, everything. I just feel like I need to change things. But every single person I've been with, whether or been in contact with, whether it's my hair makeup artist, whether it's Moses, whether it's um, like people I collab with on OnlyFans, like they're like, your body's so nice. And even my OnlyFans, like people who pay for my OnlyFans, like they always like your body's so great. And because I can't believe that, because, like, my ideal body is, like, a Pamela Anderson type, or, like, I collabed with a girl named Chuchi last night, Chuchi Kosh, she's really popular. Those are, like, my ideal bodies, just very thin and, like, huge, big, fake boobs. Like, and people are just like, yeah, but that's, like, a lot of people's type, but then, like, you're a lot of people's type. And, like, I have to, like, get that through my head, and I know I always preach body positivity, but, like, I have to, like, hear that from people. And then I finally was like, yeah, you're right. Like, people are on there, they're paying for my body and my body type, and, like, yeah, like that's, it's just like there's just something for everybody. And yeah, that perfect plastic look is like what I'm into. Like I love that look. Like girls who just like look absolutely just flawless, perfect. Like I'm just like, oh, like that's my ideal girl. Like when I want to be with a girl. But I have to realize like I'm someone's ideal girl body too. You know, it's just like sometimes we just get caught up. And I think because I am in the business, obviously, of selling my body and my nudes, I can be so vulnerable. So people like vulnerable. <clears throat> so people on Twitter could like really get in my head and I was gonna have like surgery But then I was like that's gonna stop the momentum of my only fans of what I enjoy doing That's gonna stop the momentum of what I've been doing now Which is kind of like having my one meal a day filming it like getting ready getting in my routine Like I do know past surgeries I've had when I've been depressed when I'm, when I'm usually recently single after Sean I had the lipo in the boobs. Oh I had my first relationship my boobs in 2012 I was really depressed and yeah, I was just like, it doesn't make sense to have it right now. Not to say like you should be depressed to have surgery, but it's like I'm really, really happy with the way I'm flowing right now in life that I kind of don't want to disrupt that flow. And yeah, so just overall I've been good. So when people come to me like, what are you gonna say about this? What are you gonna say about this? And if it's like if it's if it's nothing I need to say, then it's nothing I need to say. You know what I mean? Like even if it's like, and at the end of the day, even if they're complete lies people are saying, or the complete truth, either way, I feel like I don't have to speak on something that I don't want to speak on anymore. I'm like, that's not me. Like, my channel now is like, this channel I do a lot of eating on because I love eating. I love trying new foods. Like, I'm going to try new food today. My vlog channel, I like do my makeup and I like chit chat with you guys there. I have a podcast to talk about like current shit going on. I have my only fans to, you know, get my sexy on. So... Yeah, I'm just, I'm in a good space, I'm in a good flow, I'm looking to buy a house, I'm looking to get a new car, like, I'm just, I want to focus on those things, I want to start traveling once it's, like, safe to travel, like, I just don't want to disrupt it, and not that plastic surgery is, like, disrupting things or anything, but I just know when I've recovered in the past, like, you, I have taken a long time to recover, six to eight weeks, like, two months to recover, of no sex, even though it's, like, not the more, most important thing, but, like, no sex, no going in the water, like, we're in the midst of summer, I have a pool, I have a jacuzzi, like, I want to travel eventually to Hawaii soon with my mom, I talked about it with Moses, my sister, like, there's just, like, I want to travel, I want to go, I want to go to Israel, like, you know, I want to travel and stuff, so it's, like, 
yeah, surgery is like a little minor inconvenience for like a lifetime of change, but I feel like if I don't like need it right now, which I don't feel like I do, like I looked at my body this morning, like I'm naked underneath this robe, spoiler alert. I was like, oh, like I kind of like the way I look. I kind of look vibe and kind of hot. And yeah, it's like if I, once I get back into like a workout routine, like if I start dancing with Sadie again, and I start like working out a little bit, I know I'll feel better about myself. So all of that to say, content is a really good place to be in life. Sometimes I always want to be doing more and more and more, but that doesn't make me happy either. I'm, I'm good with being content. So content doesn't always mean boring. Content can mean peace and peace is a powerful thing. On that note, let's get into pie. So I got this cake. This is inspired by Hungry Fat Chick, who I also was speaking to in the DMs. Love her. She's so freaking sweet. Hungry, Check her out. She's the Hungry Fat Chick. She eats the most delicious things. We have like the same taste palette. I saw her get this. This is actually based off in LA, but you can order it off goldbelly.com, not sponsored, but you can get like all the desserts there. And this is called the Pie Hole. And it is in LA. It was offline during the quarantine, so I couldn't order it. It's finally back. And this is called the Cereal Killer Pie. That was not as smooth as I was hoping it would be. Oh, okay. So I didn't even order a fancy pie cutter, but it just didn't come in time, and I just want to eat this kind of fresh. It actually came yesterday, but because I had my OnlyFans shoot, which, by the way, go to OnlyTrish.com, I had a really hot girl-girl scene with Tucci Cash, who's freaking so sweet. Um, like, oh my god, like, like, the nicest girl, like, I've ever met, like, it's a really cool thing about like adult performers like strippers can be bitches like when I was stripped oh my god like no because you're like going for their money but with OnlyFans I think they realize like the more we all help each other like the more it's like you know good for everybody you know what I mean so and they're just all about helping and she was so freaking sweet so definitely go check out the OnlyFans video it'll be up there um yeah she's she's amazing I freaking love her okay let's get into this pie I'm not really sure how to cut it I'm just gonna cut a piece for myself right now Obviously, I'm not planning on eating this whole entire pie today, but I'm going to get myself a pretty good piece. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got like a little pie cutter because Hungry Fat Chick has always like a little pie thing. Not a pie cutter. It's like a pie picker upper. Like, this is this going to be so, I'm so bad at this kind of stuff. Like cutting it. Like if you have to cut a cake, like don't have me do it. Like obviously you can tell I'm like horrible at cutting things. Now, I did watch her eat it, so I kind of know it tastes a little like a cheesecake is what I heard or what she thought. I'm not really sure what the official definition is of what's in here. Oh, yeah, this is when I need a pie pepper because it's just not going to go smoothly. Ooh, it kind of did go smoothly. Okay. Cute. Oh, my God. I just like, uh-huh. I can't because it's my pie. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. oh, it's like breakfast time and then eating pie. Pie is kind of like a breakfast thing, right? I was really in Pulp Fiction and stuff. They're always having like pie at breakfast, like blueberry pie. Is that what she sounds like blueberry pancakes? Or I think it's blueberry pie. And he's like, if you eat that blueberry pie, you'll get a pop belly. She goes, you wouldn't let me if I have a pop belly. He's like, I'd punch you right in the, right in the, right in your pop belly. Should you punch my pop belly? All right, let's try. Mmm. Okay, so it does have Fruit Loops. Try another bite. Mmm. <clears throat> it's weird. I wouldn't say it tastes like cheesecake. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's very refreshing because it's like Fruit Loops in it. I'm trying to think what it tastes like. Maybe a meringue almost, but it's not meringue. It's like scary light. <laughs> oh my, can I eat this whole pie? Probably. Yeah. It's like sugar first thing in the morning is like the worst thing for you. <laughs> okay, I like spiked your levels for the day, so. Not that I set a good example. This is so good. Not that I set the best example for eating, but. Mm -hmm. Someone said that on the podcast too that she spreads so much misinformation. And I always say, if you're coming to me to get like information, don't. I talk about what I Google and I talk about my results I find on Google. You can find them on Google. But when it comes to food, you can trust me. <laughs> I don't eat in the morning. 
Mmm. This is really good. I feel like I'm at a diner. I think because I woke up so happy, like just so positive. You guys, I'm telling you, you can choose like positivity. Like working on friendships and working on relationships and stuff, like working on family relationships, friendships, intimate relationships. Like it's amazing. Like I have such good support in my life of like what things I'm doing and like I don't know, it's just like a good flow and I'm just happy. <laughs> so I'm just not trying to disrupt the happiness. Because here's the thing. I don't have my implants. Yes, like my first boob job I desperately needed. But I showed my boobs to literally everyone yesterday. My hairstylist, who's Angel, you guys know him. And then Ari, and then like super, she's like such a super cool female. She's just like this like bomb ass chick. She's like so freaking hot and tiny and cute. And then I showed, um, uh, obviously, <laughs> Gucci. And like literally, like even Ari and like my makeup artist and Angel, they're just like, no, your boobs look good. They're like, if you're going just based on, even, and Moses said this too this morning, see, if you're going just based on comments, like, don't he's like because like they look good and like i think they i'm fine with them that's why i guess comments really never bothered me about them it bothers me that that's like the thing people harp on i guess i'm like wow really like that's kind of like a i don't know i just feel like that's so i couldn't imagine like even in my biggest hater days were my mean girl days just attacking someone's like boobs, like, oh, your boobs are fucked up. Like, I guess it's just like, that's mostly Twitter, I guess. It's just such a weird, it's such a weird world. That's why I really just, I look, I do look sometimes at comments and tweets, of course I do, but I don't spend so much time on it like I used to. When I was even talking to Shane about it the other day, and he's just like, yeah, it literally has turned into like, Back in the day, there was, like, this gossip board that used to talk about, like, beauty gurus and, like, people. And they were just, like, so harsh and so mean. He's, like, that's what, like, Twitter has, like, turned into. And so he, like, doesn't just, like, look for his name or anything anymore. And that like, made me feel so much better. And I can tell his happiness, too, when I when I talk to him on FaceTime, on the phone, or even in person. Like, he, or even in, like, Ryland's video the other day I was watching. Um, what was the video? It was, um... The oh, the cutting my, letting my boyfriend cut my hair and they were doing like those spike things in Ryland's hair and Shane did his little curl and he was using curling wand, he was doing like a greaser look, which so that was really cool. And they just like, and Shane especially, because Ryland's like I feel like always very like positive, but Shane and I like, I feel like we have very similar like where we're, we have like, we can get really like dark, you know what I mean? And it just is nice to see him like happy, just like not caring, just cracking jokes, just like being in love, like I think it's so refreshing. Because I know he gets so, like, anything, he's such a genuinely, like, good person that when people try to attack him for something that's, like, so far not true, it really, like, because he's so empathetic, like, he just feels everything, like, it can just really affect him. Um, I was just, like, so nice, like, I guess, like, have that reassurance, like, hey, not going on Twitter all the time is, like, healthy. And, like, here's the thing, I still love social media. I still love posting. I still love talking to the people that, like, I you know, interact with, like, I'll read comments on my YouTube videos, if they start getting too nasty or I start feeling like, oh, this is, like, a bad, like, then I, I just stop reading them, you know, but I think if you're on social media of any kind, whether you're, like, making it your career or you're just posting, like, you really have to be strong, like, my sister, for instance, is someone who, I would, she doesn't want to consider herself, like, an influencer, I mean, she does do her OnlyFans now, too, and stuff, but she, it does, like, it, it really did affect her, like, that's why she stopped doing YouTube, it's why she stopped being on my videos for a very long time, it's why she doesn't even like to be on my, a lot of my videos now, like, if she doesn't have her makeup done or something, She's really self-conscious. Like, people will go and be nasty to her. And because now they know she's, like, insecure about stuff, like, they'll go and be nasty to her. And, like, she just can't – she won't – she's getting better because I told her, I'm like, you literally just can't read comments. Like, you just can't. Especially, like, when you're mentally, like, on the brink. Like, you really have to remove yourself. Like, I'm going to say this genuinely. This is not starting drama or anything. Like, yesterday I did talk about, like, Gabby Hanna on, on – she was going on Twitter just, like – 
you know, con like just battling every single hater or drama channel or whoever would tweet her. And like her boyfriend was chiming in and I'm like, why is no one stepping in? And I meant this in all sincerity. Y'all know, like I don't, as a person, the, my interaction with her, I don't, I don't care for her as a person. But like as just a human being seeing that, like I know where she was on, she's on this, she's on this like edge. Like she's like, she's like literally cracking. I've been there multiple times. So like as someone who's been there, I'm like, why is no one stepping in and being like, hey, just get off social media for a little bit. And here's the thing, like, keep posting your videos. Like I get you have to make money. Keep posting your videos. Stop looking at comments. Stop interacting. Like just stop because that's the only way you're going to get better. And thankfully last year I had people in my life, like people in her life need to say that. She has a boyfriend. Like why is not he? Like even people that aren't dating me will be like, hey, Moses is a good example. Like just don't read the comments. Like just stop reading them right now. And then like as soon as you do, you do feel so much better. So that's the only reason I brought up and somebody like, you're condescending, you're gaslighting. I'm like, I'm not commenting on her mental health. I'm observing what she's doing and simply advising her because I've also been there. And like, I do care about people's well-being, whether I dislike you or, or as a person or don't want to be your friend or whatever. Like, as someone like going through something that's like, it on the outside looks manic and it's not diagnosing, it just looks thinking like YouTube, the platform's out to get you, like, and I'm going to say this generically, it kind of stemmed off her, but, you know, she was, she's upset that they, YouTube wasn't trending her. Look, I've been on YouTube 13 years, like, she, I've been so loyal to YouTube, I've been on 13 years. I took back what I said, I said I never trended, I trended twice. And guess what? Those two music videos, Six Feet Under, Crazy and Desperate, they both had Jason Nash in them. I did two tours. My first tour sold out completely. We had to add an extra show in Toronto because we sold out completely. Second tour sold out halfway. Didn't sell out, sold about half capacity. First tour, I was in the vlog squad. I was friends with David Dobrik and obviously if you're friends with David, obviously your shows are gonna be sold out because it's known that he goes to those shows, right? When Gabby first started her music, out loud. I specifically remember because I wasn't in that group, but I was just starting to hang out with Jason. Everyone promoting her song. She had Liza, Zane, Josh Beck, everyone in her car listening to her song for the first time, promoting it. And hey, say what you want about that group. They're they're toxic. They were bad. Whatever. They're the they were. I would. I don't know. Maybe they still are. I don't know. I don't really because I'm not in it, so I don't know. But they kind of are at that time, especially her time and then even my time, like, you know, they kind of can set, I don't know what the word is, like set the influence, I guess, you know, they're, they're the, they're the trendsetters, they're the influencers that like whatever they say, like it's going to be popping. And I didn't even see that myself. Like obviously like when I started dating Jason, like I wasn't even like, I didn't even know like David or anything when we were like hooking up. So I didn't know about that. I wasn't, I wasn't aware of like that, but I see that because then I saw my shift and we'll look at all that because we were like, oh my god, I always bring them up. Okay. We'll go to Shane, who's like, who is my friend? When I was clapping with Shane, like, me and Shane used to hang out, like, 2014, I think. Me, Shane, and Drew would hang out all the time. Like, I'm, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but. So, like, I was always on, like, Shane was, like, up, he was, like, the daily logger, right? He was what these people are doing now. Even, like, Alex Warren, like, he was that. And even before I was friends with Shane, like his friend group, they would all get massive views. And not to, okay, I'm not, whatever, but like, whatever. And so when I was friends with Shane, I'm just gonna keep it on me. Because <laughs> everything I say shall be shady, and I, I promise you it's not a form of place of shade because I know because I've experienced this, right? So when I was like clapping with Shane, even though like we were just friends and just hanging out, and I was just like, it just what it was, like I guess I wasn't realizing, like, oh, that's why my, my channel was like really popping too. I was making, the height of my money when you know I had moved to that big house and stuff like that like when I was like constantly in Shane's videos and he was in mine and that's kind of like the that's but again that's just the nature of the game and, and like I think that's why there's a lot of users like people will see that from the outside because I see that now like removed like once I was removed from like the Shane like not that we're removed but you know just stop collabing because he like what he did a different direction was with his series and stuff um and I just didn't do collabs really anymore and then I, you know, 
it kind of maintained because we did the, the series, me and I did Shane's series and like, you know, it was maintained. And then it kind of went from that right into like being in David's vlogs. And so like, yeah, all, all of a sudden I'm like getting really good views and look, I have been on YouTube a long time and I had a career in, in the sense of making money before I met Shane. Like that's how I met Shane because he, I think Lisa might have watched my videos or got him onto my videos because I remember I collabed with Lisa and Shauna and I don't even know, I don't think Shauna makes videos anymore, but, um, like I collabed and so obviously I was like doing my own thing, you know what I mean? And then Shane just saw my videos before his movie was coming out and we just started hanging out because this was kind of, this was before his coming out and he was kind of on the edge of the end of his like relationship and like it was a, it was a really weird transitional time even though i didn't really realize that it was like and that's like the summer he broke his ankle and stuff like that um like where was i going with that it was just I'm trying to think of the transitional time oh i'm just saying like i was making money before oh because okay so okay so that was like 2013 20 or maybe like 2014 i'm thinking right i actually met shane in 2011 like just literally I saw a casting on a website for one of his music videos that he did and I was just like an extra we talked a little bit he had this huge house and I was like so inspired and I think his mom or somebody told me that like you can make AdSense and like that's how I realized you can start making money so like years before we actually started like collabing or becoming friends and I met Shane when I was like we became friends when I was in the beach house so I was already moved out of my mom and my sisters because I was living with them like we all were sharing like a two-bedroom apartment in like Sherman Oaks or something so I, I would I did the Shane music video in that apartment and then obviously by the time we became friends I was already in my beach house so I was already making money because that beach house was like four thousand a month which to me was insane that I could afford that and like sustain it you know what I mean so yeah so I was like making money and having said that like obviously I'm no longer I'm not collabing with Shane every day obviously like at all and I'm not obviously with David or any big youtuber right now there's not really any big youtuber at, at whom we're talking about I'm gonna collab with anyone I'm fortunate I made podcast because Shane was like the first guest and then Jeffrey I'm fortunate that we got so many good advertisers and it really got the ball rolling like I'm fortunate for the support for sure but it's like I'm fine with not not trending. I've never trended. I don't think YouTube owes it to me. My ad has gone down considerably. Now, if you go to my, what is it, social blade, you can see my monthly views. My monthly views used to be like 30 million. I probably get somewhere from 15 to 20 million now on my channels. But <laughs> my ads and check doesn't reflect it. My ads and check, they really did just not give me, I'm basically like the lowest on the totem pole as far as ads. Like I'll probably get the scraps of ads. Probably because of my content. Maybe because of who I'm, I don't associate with the YouTubers anymore. There's a plethora of reasons why maybe my videos aren't promoted or shown. Or why, like, sometimes they just, I just don't get paid, you know? And here's the thing. YouTube's a machine, right? YouTube's not specifically targeting me. Like, they're not like, oh, you're not friends with David Dobrik anymore. Oh, you're not having machine right now. Like, oh, you haven't done a video with Jeffrey in a while. Like, we're not going to, like, they don't, they don't look at it. Like, it's a machine. It's an algorithm thing. And at the end of the day, even if they do look at it, they're allowed to just, we're not going to pay you anymore to be on this platform. And you know what? I surrender to that because I love the YouTube platform. I really do. I, I do. Like, I love putting my music on here. I love, like, this sort of thing. Like, I don't know. I was talking to someone the other day. Uh, and they were talking about how they heard that I wasn't really making money on YouTube. And I said, no. I'm like, anymore, you have to do it either because you love it. Or you're trying to like, because in Gabby's situation, like she wants to be considered just a music artist and not a YouTuber. Well, your roots are a YouTuber. And you know who I think nailed it so perfectly and does continue to nail it perfectly is Colleen Ballinger. You know, she's classically trained, beautiful voice, was on Broadway. I'm like, I would call you a Broadway star, an actress. Like you are on Netflix, a show creator, producer, writer, and she was, I consider myself a YouTuber. Like the only reason I have all those things is because YouTube. Now, yes, could Colleen have gone on Broadway off pure talent without doing YouTube? Yeah, of course. But you know, maybe she did get like, it's hard to get noticed on Broadway. So maybe she did get like that. I mean, she's insanely talented. So don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying like, she acknowledges like she, she's a YouTuber. That's why people connect to her, you know, her vlogs and stuff. And, and oh, I have, I don't have any of the talent Colleen has. I have like it in my freaking. I have the amount, she has it in her like pinky nail, the amount of talent I have. 
So I do, I always realize people, even OnlyFans, like I have success on there now, the only reason I do is because of the people who watch me. Like they're interested in me, they're invested in me as a person. And like, that's a special thing onto it. So, mm -hmm. Moses, my friend, he has a, he has, he's so busy and successful in his real jobs, like oh, real job, his job, he does like architectural design and like like contracting and stuff and he's like always busy he's super successful does like big projects he's he's so talented oh my god he showed me so much stuff this morning and he has a youtube channel and that's his passion which is like he does a lot of art he's oh my god he's also an amazing artist like I've, i see stuff he's like working on his art is like amazing like it's so good and beyond just like the water photos of water which i think are really cool but he's he does like like actual art too that's good coming out and like a book he's he's really talented but his passion is like water and stuff which i was giving a hard time like oh my god he's like what is her good like you know, i just don't get it but he has a youtube channel and he like doesn't care like like when he, like obviously when i posted like a link to his in like one of the videos we did like it got up more views or whatever than like a, but he's like i want people to come and watch because they like enjoy what i'm doing not because there's drama involved he goes so i'm fine was getting a couple thousand views you know what i mean and like that like passion for youtube is like what you need if does everyone want to make money on youtube probably you know but that should be why you get into it which i feel like was a lot of people <sighs> yeah <laughs> mm. mm-hmm This cake was really good. I didn't really eat that much of it. I think I'm gonna go to Arby's a little later, so I'm not trying to eat too much, but I'm glad I just talked to this video. Sorry, I didn't really eat. Oh, good though. It just doesn't taste as dense as cheesecake, but I mean, it could be. Yeah, go check out Hungry Fat Chick. Go check out Channel Water. <laughs> Mm. Mm, good. I want one more piece, but again, when we're talking about being content, I'm going to with that one piece. That was really good. Yeah. And Tally definitely had a party last night because. I am so thirsty. Like last night, I was just like chugging water next to me. Like, I don't know. Anyways, be kind to everyone. Be kind to yourself. <laughs> You're beautiful the way you are. <laughs> like truly, like don't, honestly, because I really was going to get past surgery because so many people make fun of my boobs and say like I'm botched. And like, again, it doesn't hurt me, but I'm like, oh, let me just get perfect boobs in. But People who have, even, uh, I don't know, just everyone I've been with, because I was actually supposed to get surgery in January too, and the guy I was with before that was like, I love your boobs like that, so it's preference. I love big fake looking ones, and a lot of, and a lot of, some people don't, a lot of people do, a lot of people don't, and that's just, that's just preference. You guys, I truly love you so much, like I love waking up with you, like I was in such a good mood, I just had like such a good talk this morning, and then... I just like had like I just felt good about myself I just like looked in the mirror and I was just like hey you're sexy like I truly feel sexy like so again like ah, this is turning into like a weird body positivity thing which is not supposed to think about the people you love right like or if you're in an intimate relationship with someone like that person loves you for you for people, because people will try and say, like, I'll just do in my comments, oh, he feels sorry for her. Men are desperate. That's why she, ha it's like, no, people are, <laughs> people don't spend their time, their precious, like, time with you unless they want to be with you. People aren't having, like, sex with you because, continuously, because they feel bad for you. <laughs> 
<laughs> or they're desperate. Like it just, you know, but it just, some people can't grasp it. There's a couple, um, on TikTok. Their name are Ethan and Susan and I love following them. I think they thought I left a hate comment one time. Oh, I kind of, it maybe was a little shady. They said something for everyone who says, like, I'm not hot enough for my, I don't know. It was, actually, it wasn't even that. It was something else. I was like, I literally never see comments about this ever. And then, like, deleted it. Because <laughs> sometimes they get a little crazy. Like, they love to shove, they're, they're, like, kind of very, like, shoved down your throat. Like, hey, we're in love. We're a couple. Like, and it's, like, kind of awkward at times. Okay, because so, she's a bigger girl, just like I am. Like, she's just, like, a, she's a big girl. And he's very, he's very skinny. And I think people are like, oh my God, like they'll always be like blink twice if she's holding you hostage. Like they do comment on her weight a lot and she's, and it's like, I don't know. I just feel like people are just so mean for no reason. They, they're, it's not like they're living in luxury in LA. You know, they're, they're very like humble. They live in like a nice little townhouse. It looks like they have like a truck or something like um, he buys her like little bags, like little cute wallets, not designer brand. And I'm like, they're just seem happy and people want to say like, oh, he's gay or she's like his beard or, or just mean shit. Like, oh, Blake, if you need help or, you know, that might be just, that is his preference. He's married to her. That's someone's preference. Like even if they look so mismatched, that's someone's preference. Do you know what I mean? Um. I'll end with this one example. And I'm so sorry. Dolph, if you're out there. Dolph Ziggler, he's a WWE wrestler. He still is. Back when I knew him, he said he was about to retire and he's still going. I still follow him. Um, I feel so bad because we had, it was, we had like a friendship, but definitely like, I think we hooked up like once or something. I mean, he was really nice. He's like literally like one of the nicest guys. And I did a stupid exposed video because he got in late and he's like, can we do tomorrow? And I was pissed because I was already, so I had my full hair and makeup done and I was pissed. So I did a video. So stupid. And he just like never really trusted me again after that. This was so long ago. And that's totally fine. Like, trust me, I understand. Um, but he, he, he is this, he's a WWE wrestler. Look we'll him up. His name's Dolph Ziggler. He's, Literally like 12 pack, like he had, he had bleach blonde hair. I don't know if it is, but it's like long kind of like Motley Crue style hair. He's like such as like rock and roll. He's like his, his body naked was literally the perfect body. Like, and again, not perfect body for me. I, I mean, perfect. You know, I'm like, I'll take that body. You know, I feel like, and I feel like that too. Like some people will be like, yeah, I love a perfect body, but they also, but let me get to the point. I mean, his body was like, it, as far as just no fat just chiseled and tan like I remember waking up and I think he was like on his like back bum in the air and I was just like oh my god like he has such a perfect body like like it's more like a work of art right same thing when I was like looking at 2G's body hers is like so perfect and so it just looked like art mine could be considered art if you go back into the renaissance era like I have definitely an art body back then um but Dolph was his thing is thick girls I think some people have like figured it out, especially when I made that video, because prior to me, I guess he dated Amy Schumer, like, and we weren't dating. We were literally just friends and we like hooked up like one time, like literally, but like we would talk on like texts and stuff. He would, and he was like in person, like so nice. Like he's, he was like the all around package. And so, but his preference, like I honestly felt so self-conscious, but like, I think there was like a photo I posted then and I was like, I was losing weight at the time. And he's like, oh my God, like don't lose weight. You look so good as you are. And I was just like, like, and it's not like don't lose weight. It was just like, oh my God, are you losing weight? Like, I love your, like, like he loves thick, you know? So, and you just wouldn't think that because he's like so perfect and fit. You would think he went like a WWE wrestler girl too, which is like the perfect boobs and everything. But again, it's all preference. Um, yeah. And then the other day too, when I was, when I said who I was clapping with, I'm like, I'm so nervous because she's so perfect. And he's like, well, I prefer like your body type over her body type. And like, not in like a mean way, but just in like a reassuring way, like, Hey, like there's a reason she wants to collab with you. Like, you know, and I think that's a beautiful thing. So I just think it just really does make me sad that people really think they need. And look, look, like I said, my original boobs were so bad. Like I, 
would risk my life 10 times over to have got my to have my boob fixed. I don't regret the first boob job. And the second boob job, yeah. But right now, they look fine. And maybe I'll have to get them done in a few more years, but it's only been five years. My boobs are fine right now. I kind of like the way they look. I kind of like the way they look in shirts and stuff. I think they look nice. My tummy, I can just exercise it a little bit and I'm in, you know? I don't know. I just hope everyone was like easy on themselves. And like truly just like love yourself for who you are, you know? And yeah, if there's something that's really bothering you, like fix it. But like I said, right now, even my weight, I'm kind of comfortable in it. Like, yeah, I want to lose a little belly. But that just takes a couple of dance sessions with Cedric, a couple of sessions with MacFit. You know, that's it. Anyways, I'm laughing. <laughs> I love you guys. I need to get some more water. Thank you guys for being so sweet and so kind. And, um, well, the people who are, the haters, okay? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> but I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.